it's like really interesting. And then I read The Secret Life of Bees, which you should check out. It's a really good book. And then that got me into <laughs> beekeeping even more. So now I've just always wanted to do it. So, so today is her very first day yep. with beekeeping. Jacqueline and two of her younger brothers have arrived at a good time because we just received two queen bees in the mail. And if you're wondering what kind of strange chemical I'm giving them, it's just filtered tap water. We have a queen that we're gonna give to the rainbow hive over there. And uh, these young'uns are gonna help us do it. So G, who has the most votes? Um, that one. No, that from one. here, I think Hank's right. That yeah. that one has the most that votes. That has most of the bees in the crack. Oh, I see what you're saying. So the ones underneath are coming up to check her out too. Yeah. All right, yeah, well, we'll let them. On the top, that one has the most votes. We'll just let them sit here for a little bit and we'll see if we need a new queen <laughs> in this one. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous, all those bees? Yeah, so it looks to me like, Jerry, we don't have to worry about going all the way down. And here's why. If they had lost their queen last night, they'd be all flighty. But they're all happy. So I think we're good. I think their queen is still there. And I think we caught it early enough, the robbing early enough. And we just totally closed it off where the robbers couldn't get in. So, all right, let's put this one back together. Put this back on top? Yes. Okay, there's bees Yeah, scoot back so you're not in their entryway. Like, get back there or around there where Jackie is, and you'll be safer. Is there an opening on the lid? Yeah. Put it toward their entrance. Other way, then. One, 180. That way, if you're standing behind, you don't have to worry about bees coming and going if you're standing behind the hive. Yeah, I did. It was that little box. Yeah. The lid? Yeah. So last night when I saw the robbers, Jackie, I closed up the entrance and I closed up this. I just stuck dryer lint in there. Wow, I think this one's the clear winner. Unless they're trying to hurt her and it looks like they're trying to feed her. So trying to feed her is an excellent sign that they like that queen. And this one, they're interested, but not so she's not feet. quite as popular. So we're going to let them have this one. We yes. know that we don't have to give a queen to that one. Have you seen the sugar water situation? Can I hold sugar a bee? Water in there? You want to hold this? Yeah. Now hold it. Let me see. I'm going to hold this part. Mm -hmm. So you can hold that part. Hold it real tight. As tight as you can. All right. So now we need pictures. <laughs> and then we'll get our queen bee tucked into her new house. Oh, gee. Uh, 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 because they still need to acclimate to her. Yeah. Or you can just hold it while uh, we put the queen in her place. So, so Jackie, tell there. us how heavy. Oh, there's a bee on me. You think you can hold it? Yeah, I can hold this. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, I think our work is done, so Jackie, you can put that back. I know it's heavy. What about that booby yeah, thing? Yeah, try the sideways thing. And, yeah, a lot of times, it's, these, but these are so active that they'll just be everywhere. In this case, they're still kind of inactive. This early in the morning, and it helps. Plus, nobody's jumping around and making a lot of noise, so I appreciate that, guys. I wish we could, I could turn into a bee. What would you do if you were a bee, G? I don't know. You don't know? Probably get some food. I'd be the queen bee, obviously. I mean, come on now. <laughs> you know what a queen bee does. Yeah. She stays inside the hive all day and all night. Exactly. Never gets out into the light of day. Takes care of her. I'd be a drone. I like O'Reilly. <laughs> okay, the attic is next, I think, right? Yeah. That's good. And then the lid. Would you pre? I'll do it. take the dryer lint out of here. Just want to make sure there's not an opening there. No, there's no opening. So we treated them with oxalic acid last night, which is why there's dryer lint in all of these. 
blocking them off. Yeah, it does. Very well done. So, you know why we put the bricks on top? Because if we get a windstorm, we don't want the top to get blown off the hive. We want the hive to stay intact. And some places they have bears and things that get into hives. Are you tired of it? If you're going to take it off, go inside and take it off. Because even though the bees are calm, I don't want to take a chance. So go in the bunk room, okay? Okay. Y'all, thanks for the help. That was fun. You could respond if you wanted to. We've already kind of started getting into it anyhow. So you can just, yeah, lift that off. And then you can lean it up against this leg over here. Yeah, that way it's close when you need it. Perfect. Okay, now look, it looks like there are a lot of bees in there. Maybe she started to lay. Yeah, take that off. And take your hive tool to make sure it's not stuck down. I don't think it is. There you go. And just lift it off. Now, you have to be careful with just letting it go because as soon as you lift it off, bees will start crawling out and you don't want to squash any bees. Let's look at the bottom and see if we see our queen. She's big and beautiful, like I said, so you'd easily see her and she's not there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start using our hive tool to dig down inside here. The first thing to do is to take out this frame where nobody is, so that'll give us room to work. How do I do that? <laughs> All right, you see this end has kind of got a crook on it? So you use that for leverage. And if you pull up the side closest to you, yeah, I'll just try to grab this and pull it up with one hand there. And there's nothing on that frame, so we can just lean it down there again with all those other ones. Yeah, so we're just going to move yeah, each of the frames over. I think the queen is going to be down here where all these other, where all these bees are hanging out. So we're going to go with that first. Oh, that's good. So we want to be real gentle about this. We're going to pull this one out. Kind of give her some advice. I think we go just on the outside, but there's no particular reason I do it that way. Well, it keeps you out of the honey. If you go in on the inside, sometimes you mess oh, up you their, their the honey. honey. Yeah. I'm supposed to lift it out. So. Look at all those bees. So what you want to do is look for the queen. And the queen. She's a little bit bigger, but largely you look for the elongated abdomen. You know the abdomen mm -hmm. is, right? You put in biology or whatever. And you also look for the bee that's moving fastest, and there's not one here, so flip it over. Let's and see if we see one. doesn't like sunlight all that much, so she'll be evasive to some extent. Somebody's in her shadow. Yeah. So, oh, there she is right there. Do you see her? The oh, long abdomen. Yeah. So thank goodness we still here. got our queens. Jackie, did you see her? Mm -hmm. Oh good. She's right there. Yeah. Okay, put it back. Yeah, I you think I think we're great. You we're just, we're, we're golden. No. I, oh here, you put it. Look back. at all those bees. The only reason we have all those bees is because she's been laying. Okay, right. Because yeah, some space, and then scoot it over after you get it down there. Yeah, we don't want so to drop it too fast. We want it to be real gentle. Gentle, yeah. They don't like the bumps and the thumps, and they don't like loud noises typically. All right, so now we need to go. Would you help scoot them all this way, and then we've got one more to put in. So I would use my hive tool and just kind of gently pull this one over next to that one. And we just. About, see how much space there is there? Make it about the same amount of space right there. See what I'm talking about? Is that good? Yeah. So 
so you know what to do next. Yes, ma'am. And these don't have a notch, these inner covers, so it's fine to do it either direction. They're... Okay, watch out, there's a little bee right here about to get squished. So you see those little wooden pieces there? Yeah. Technically, you can put the nectar feeder right on top, mm -hmm. but if you do that, then they, the bees can't get up here into the attic and mill around and they don't get the ventilation. So we always put spacers before we put in the feeder. Just like that? Like that. Alrighty. Now double check under here and make sure there's not any openings. That's nice. Looks good. Oh, looks good. Okay, I hope it's done. Praise God. 